next week. Once again, we are all called to the gymnasium, first thing Monday morning. Only this time, there are even more people here. Is this a meeting of the whole school? What for? I asked Virginia if she knew what this was about, but she just grinned and said she couldn't tell me. Someone steps up to the podium, but it's not a teacher. Good morning everyone, my name is William Danson and I am your incoming senior class president. But for the next week, half of you will be calling me Sir William. Welcome to Freshman Initiation. A magical initiation ritual? Before we start, I am required to give you some safety information. Nothing that happens this week should cause you physical harm. If you are ordered to do something dangerous or that you know is wrong, please go to a teacher immediately. Now, all you freshmen please line up, one at a time, come up on stage, announce your name and where you come from and receive one of these initiation handbooks. Okay. Students dutifully shuffle along, announcing themselves one by one. Some of them I've already met, some names are new. Suki Sato, Jamal Mir, Pastel, Pastel, Pastel Rao, Luke and Logan Pfeiffer. Then it's my turn. After I state my name, William hands me a stapled together paper booklet. Inside there are a bunch of rules and a list of all the members of the senior class, complete with black and white pictures and full names. According to this, we're required to memorise the names of all the seniors and throughout the week we have to address them as sir or lady whatever. And there's more. We have to memorise a silly poem and recite it in command. We must never show our backs to our senior. We must never be taller than a senior. We must always respond to requests with... Wait, William's at the podium again. Now as well as serving and honouring the entire senior class, each one of you will become the property of one particular senior. Your senior is your master, kinky, your best friend, your worst nightmare. Somewhat kinky, and your only protection from the rest of us. Stand and wait, and we will choose. He steps away from the podium, while we freshmen look at each other nervously. The seniors start to move around the room, poking and prodding and calling out orders. You're taller than me, freshman! Get down on the ground! Don't turn away from me, freshman! I see your back! Ellen and I end up kneeling back to back and watching as the sharks circle. You! I look up to see Damien standing over me. Of course he's an upperclassman. This, be mu this must be what he was- this, this is what he was talking about last week, okay? <laughs> Penelope Snark. I think you should be mine. Excuse me, we just met. Well, actually we met last week. Um, okay. Stand up. But then I might be taller. It's alright, you're with me. You don't have to worry about the rules if I'm with you. Only what I see matters. Here, take my hand, I'll help you up. Nah, I can get up my cellmate. I don't need help. I climb up to my feet and brush off my knees. So what should we... I said take my hand. What? Down on the ground, freshman! He raises his hand angrily and my knees buckle almost an instinct. There's a good girl. Wow, okay. You've got to understand, Penelope. There are rules to this game. You have to follow them, and so do I. I don't want to get you into trouble. Just do what I say, alright? Yeah, no, fuck off. No. What did you say? I'm not playing along. I stand up again, fold my arms over my chest and glare at him. This isn't funny. This is hazing. This is an initiation ceremony. I won't do it. It's wrong. William said, if someone asks you to do something that's wrong, get a teacher. This whole thing is wrong, so I'm leaving. <laughs> Damn, okay. Um, I wonder what would have happened if I went along with that. I stomped through the hallways until I find... Penelope, is something wrong? I am not taking part in freshman initiation. Did someone harm you? Not really, it's just the whole idea. I see. Well then you won't take part. It's that simple. Of course, you always have the right to say no, and I'm proud to see a young student standing up for her beliefs. Of course, the other children will not all agree with your choice. Some people who might have been your friends will now avoid you. Every choice has its cost. <gasps> Did I just get ten weird? Oh, Maybe so, but maybe some other people have seen me stand up for myself and be inspired to do the same. Inspired, not inspired. You'd best get on with your classes now, dear. Right. What classes should I take this week? Okay, I want to do red magic, blue magic, red magic, blue, and then maybe some studying. Yeah. That seems fine to me. Uh oh, this is one of his classes. Can we romance him? Get to your seats, hurry up, no chatter. 
In this class, carelessness might cost you your fingers. He wouldn't really cut off his students' fingers, would he? Here you'll be learning the seductive art of red magic. The evoke The evocation- Evocation? Why- Why can't I say it? In control of energy. With this power, you might summon a breeze, light a fire, or call a distant object to hand. I say that this is seductive, not because of the power itself, but because simple minds prefer simple solutions. Blast your enemies with lightning. Tear the buildings apart with earthquakes. Let the world around you burn! Fall victim to such vulgar fantasies and you'll leave yourself vulnerable to those capable of creative thought. There are many approaches that direct force cannot defend against. He snaps his fingers in the air. Hopefully the microphone picked that up. One inattentive moment and you'll lose control of the forces you have summoned. After that, you'll only be remembered as an unpleasant stain in the walls. He rubs his hands together and gives a nasty smile. I will not make the crude joke that I am thinking of. Now for your lessons. Success. Gain two red magic skill and two, I think, watch stress. When my roommates return from the classes, neither one of them wants to look me in the eye. What, is there something on my face? Other than your nose? I can't believe you just walked out like that. Well, I did, so what? William worked hard to organise this week, you know. So what? I wasn't going to let Damien treat me like that. Wait, your senior was Damien? Huh? Right, Damien, the blue guy? <laughs> okay, I completely forgive you for messing up William's thing. Why is that? Because Damien is a horrible evil demon and he deserves to be humiliated. He'll probably never speak to you again. And good riddance. Too bad you have to miss out on the rest of initiation just because of that jerk though. If you say so. My senior is Balthazar Brindrick. He likes plants. He really likes plants. I think he's got moss growing on him. Mine is William. Um, that's nice. Anyway, we may be busy a lot this week, but since you won't be, you'll have plenty of time to get ahead in classes. Maybe. Aw, I'm missing out. I wonder who all hates me. Oh, this is one of his classes. Mull about all you like. It's your own time you're wasting. I have no objections to failing the lot of you at the next exam. A flurry of robes as students scramble for seats. Here you'll be learning the subtle art of blue magic. At least some of you will. I thoroughly expect this subject to go over some of your heads. Blue is the colour of change, that is, altering what is already there, not creating, not destroying. It is commonly used in conjunction with other magical styles in order to perform al alchemic transmutations and other alterations of essence. Nailed it! Blue magic can also be used to change the effects of an existing spell, to cast or dispel illusions, or to change locations without movement through intervening space. For a skilled blue magician, reality is fluid. All things can be changed, yet few minds are capable of grasping the true range of possibilities. We'll see what you're worth. Success gained 3 blue magic and 3 stress. Success gained 3 red and 3 stress, I think. And I learned a new spell, Breeze. Costs 1 mana, moves air around the caster's current square, creating a gentle breeze. Gained 3 blue magic. And oh, we learned a spell of light, which I accidentally skipped past through, and I'm sorry, and I think we'll find out what the spell was at another point. It's not until after I wake up on Friday morning that I realise something. Something very important which should have occurred to me before now. Virginia! Psst! Virginia, wake up! What? It's Friday the 13th! So? Um, are there any special rituals we need to do, or not to do, to protect us from magical bad luck? Oh. No. Friday the 13th is good luck when you're a witch. Oh. So it's a good omen that our initiation finishes today. Now let me finish sleeping. She pulls the covers over her head. Studying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hello? Is anybody there? Seems like the campus is half empty this afternoon. All the seniors are gone. All the freshmen are gone. All except for me. I don't even know what I'm missing. Is something horrible happening that I should have tried to stop? Are they all having fun without me? Well, at least I have the room to myself. So there's nobody around to bother me. I can be as loud and silly as I want and not have to worry about being interrupted. That makes studying much less stressful. Smart increases by two. Oh yeah, oh yeah. On Saturday morning I wake up to find envelopes under a door again, or allowances, and one extra. My parents finally wrote to me! I open up the envelope, intending to skim through it quickly, but it turns out there's not much to skim through. They send their love and hope I'm having fun at boarding school, that's it. No mention of what they've been doing. 
No questions about any friends I've made. Not even questions about magic. How can they not ask about magic? Before I got here, I had no idea what was possible. There was only that brief moment of magic back when I was 13, before the officials came to turn off the power and gave me the choice. For three years I've had to wait and wonder. Now I'm finally starting to discover this entire world of possibilities and they don't even ask? Maybe they don't want to bother me in case I'm busy or they'll figure I'll tell them what I want to tell them. I still haven't written. I'm so bad. Oh! I think I zoomed up a lot. Oh, okay. Mouse wheel scrolls. Okay. That makes sense. Maybe they don't want to bother me. Uh, I'm so bad. Yeah. I'll write them a letter. Tomorrow. Really. But for today, I have to decide whether or not to go out. Um, our stress is pretty high, so, well, it's not pretty high, but we'll go to the mall. And I guess we'll go to the magic store. With Virginia's vague directions in mind, I set out in search of the magic store. This is a branch of the mall that looks like a dead end. There's only one shop front and it's blacked out with a coming soon sign on the door. But as I get closer, a patch of wall blurs and shimmers to reveal a second door marked with a star. Marvellous, magical accoutrements. So we can only afford glasses. Oh, no! I... Oh, have I bought it? No, okay. I was like, okay. It's fine. Adding an air of sophistication as well as making it easier to read the fine print of old and faded magical tomes. As plus five to smart. Is there anything here we want to save up for? Um, smart five. Weird plus five for 20. Um... Measuring device, blue magic plus 40. Oh wow, okay. So some of these can actually like really increase your stats by a fair bit. I want a tiara. <gasps> Imagine me with a tiara. I'd be so cute with a tiara. Um, I think we'll... S mm, yeah, plus 10 cute. Um, yeah, I'll add on to my smarts. Why not? You will have to wear it. You can gain. You can access the equipment screen to change what you're wearing at the end of the week. All right. Does that put her stress down? <gasps> it didn't put her stress down. Well, that's annoying. Maybe I should have went window shopping. After breakfast, I sit down to figure out what to write to my parents. I could tell them about the strange professors here, but I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. I can tell them about initiation, I suppose. I'm sure they'll be proud of me for refusing to take part in a bullying ritual. I guess I should tell them about my bedroom and the food here, things like that, so they don't worry about me. I want to know that I get enough sleep and I remember to brush my teeth. And my roommates. I should write about them. We've been so busy we don't know each other all that well yet, but they're both good people. As for magic? Well, I've learned a few things, but I haven't really done proper magic yet. Just classroom exercises, so I'll wait a while before I tell them much about that. Mel doesn't go out on Sundays, so I fold my letter to her up and stick it in an envelope, but I don't seal it yet. I can get a stamp from the on-campus post office tomorrow. Okay, so... We're wearing glasses. Look at us. Uh, spell book. So, light was the other one we learned. Costs one mana. A gentle glow improves the visibility in the caster's location. Yeah. That also costs one mana. Yeah. Close spell book. The new students are supposed to go through an initiation process being slaves to seniors while they get yelled at and pushed around. I didn't want to do it, so I walked out. Virginia was annoyed about me walking out of initiation because her brother is in charge of it. But when she found out Dam Damien was my senior, she thought it was funny. Apparently she doesn't like him much. She says after I've embarrassed him in public like this, I'll probably never ever hear from him again. All the freshmen and seniors went off somewhere today without me. Something to do with initiation, but I, I don't know what. I wrote a letter to my parents, but I haven't had a chance to mail it yet. Interesting stuff, and I guess we'll dive on to next week.